so I wanted to film you guys an update on our kids toys and my capsuled wardrobe because I finally feel like we've reached this place that works out really good for us and I'm pretty happy with the amount of stuff that we have left over. So this is now my wardrobe. This is literally everything that I am wearing outside of underwear and a couple of pairs of pajamas. Now there are 34 hangers total here. These two are empty because of the clothes that I am currently wearing. But uh, everything here are my shorts, pants, t-shirts. I even got some business wear and my jackets. Now there are not 34 items here. There's actually probably 36 minus the two, so 38 total because this guy has a pair of pants. My suit has a pair of pants. These two have a pair of pants attached. And I guess if you don't want to count the sports bra, but the sports bra and leggings are a pair. Everything else is singular items and I love what I have here. It's made life so easy. One of the things that people have often said when they've looked at minimalist wardrobes is why is it so boring? Like everybody who seems to be a minimalist or capsules their wardrobes only wear black or gray. For those of you guys who have capsuled your wardrobe, let us know in the comments below how untrue that is. I know mine is kind of more neutral colors. I chose olive and blue to kind of speckle out throughout my wardrobe. But the biggest thing that really got me is that when it comes to colors, it makes it really hard for me to decide. And then I'm always trying to figure out what color matches with this color. And so I wanted to keep it super simple so that I didn't suffer from decision fatigue. So as far as the kids' toys, we decided to box everything up except for their Legos. And you guys know we have a ton of Legos. If this is your first video watching our uh, minimalist toy collection, you can look back at some of the others. But the reason we have a ton of Legos is because this is actually left over from my husband's Lego collection, which they had so much. And his mom decided to ship them all over when she found out that the toys or the Legos were really appealing to the girls. And of course, my husband was like, yes, let's do it. So we have this shelf kind of houses the Legos that they want to build and keep out for playing. And then all of this is a lot of Legos. Since we decided that there was way too many toys, we thought, what if they just kept the Legos? It fulfills a couple things rather than just playing. They have to be creative. They have to build in order to have toys to play with. So we decided to go with that route. And of course, we boxed some of their favorite stuff up just because we're not sure if we want to give it away or if we want to pull them out in the future. And also, I have boxed up some of my more colorful, more invested clothes. And I call them invested because if I didn't know the value of these clothes or the clothes that were given to me as gifts that I do still feel a little sentimental about, then I would just let them go. So those are a few that I just feel a little bit more iffy about and we'll see about that. But so far we've been doing really great with just this amount of clothes and just these amount of toys. As far as these little things down here, they've got, I don't know, those are just bags stuffed animals so their cousins made them some stuffed animals for Christmas they're just like little homemade stuffed animals and we thought was cute and let them play with them until they wear out they don't really look like they're gonna last long to be honest and then the girls each have a couple pairs of like their favorite stuffed animals that have a little bit more meaning to them this is the first time that I left them for two weeks I gave them these stuffed animals so it means a lot to them and then I think this guy is actually empty <laughs> Of course, we still have our outdoor toys. Those of which are the girls' favorites, which is rollerblade and biking. And we do have a little bag of pool and beach toys left. But as you guys know, being outdoors is highly invaluable for us. And to be able to have things that encourage the kids to get outside, be active, play, is way more worth than having them sit inside the house and play with a bunch of plastic all day. Grandma also got them Parents' Choice Christmas gift, which was Osmo. We love this thing. It's really cool, highly educational. It allows the kids to bridge a gap between physical toys and still working with electronic devices. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check that out. Not sponsored. We really love this app. It is so freaking cool and the kids really enjoy it. And they think it's a game even though they're learning, which is 10 times even more awesome. Sorry, I had no idea how bad that light was in there, but, um, and now the washing machine's going. So hopefully the sound is still good here. Anyways, that is where we're at for my capsule wardrobe and the kids toys. Thanks so much for being on this journey with me. I really appreciate everything that you guys suggest and lead me to more knowledge to grow and share your journey as well. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. We do a lot of videos on minimalism, wellness, healthy and happy living, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.